Hello friends, today we are going to see plane stress and plane strain condition from theory of elasticity. You see many problems in uh, elasticity uh, may be treated as uh, two dimensional or uh, plane theory of elasticity problems uh, for the uh, purpose of uh, application of elasticity uh, to be analyzed within the elastic range. Uh, there are two types of uh, problems involved. The one is uh, pain stress condition and another one is pain strain condition. Let us see uh, both of them in detail. The first one is a uh, plane stress condition. Basically, plane stress condition problems are applied to um, objects which are uh, more or like uh, a thin plate or uh, otherwise uh, for the objects uh, whose dimensions in z directions are considerably or uh, negligibly small when compared to the dimensions of x and y directions so for example if you take a thin plate the thickness of the plate will be very much small or negligible when compared to the length and the breadth of the uh, plate so such problems can be considered as plane uh, stress uh, problems so basically there will be uh, no stress acting on the perpendicular direction, the direction perpendicular to the plate. Only um, the axial forces can be uh, or axial stresses can be calculated. Whatever the type of force, whether uh, you are applying a perpendicular uh, load or uh, um, transverse load to a thin plate, there won't be any stresses or uh, there won't be any considered stresses in the z direction. So such uh, problems uh, can be considered as a plane stress problem. On the contrary, plane strain condition if you see, uh, for the objects, the uh, dimensions in the perpendicular direction or in the z directions are comparatively larger than x and y direction can be treated as a plane strain problem. For example, if you take a wire or a cylindrical pipes, so for which the x and y directions are uh, comparatively smaller, whereas the, uh, the, the dimensions uh, of the z directions are very large. So such problems are most more are like uh, pipes, uh, wires, uh, and the cylindrical bodies it can be treated as plane strain problems in which uh, the strain in the z direction will be considered as zero or negligible because since the length of the z direction or the length in the z direction are very high, the strains developed in that region can be considered as a very negligible because if you see uh, if the length of the wire is going for a thousand meter, uh, then the stra strains developed in that uh, wire during, due to the stretch could be uh, less than a millimeter or one or two millimeters or three millimeters. So comparing a three millimeter to a thousand meters of wire, uh, which is very much negligible. So such objects, such problems can be treated as plane strain condition problems. As you see in this uh, diagram, the objects, uh, this is uh, your uh, plane for which x and y directions can be drawn and this is your uh, z direction is infinite or very high you can say so the strain developed in this direction are considered as very negligible due to the uh, length the infinite length of the object we will see with some of the examples for examples for plane stress as we said the thin plates or plates with flats uh, plates with Holes, basically uh, paper-like just thin plates can be treated as a plain stress objects or plain stress problems. Whereas plain strain uh, retaining walls, uh, dams, where uh, you can see uh, here the x and y direction. Here in x and y direction, objects uh, length are minimum, whereas the z direction length is infinite or very long. Similar way, if you see the dam structures, this x and y direction are smaller, whereas the z direction runs for a mile. So, 
the strain developed in x and y directions here and here are considerable because due to the uh, short length of the you know uh, x and y direction whereas the strains developed in z direction is, is negligible because it, it runs for a mile so changes in 1 or 2 mm or 1 or 2 centimeter can be neglected And the conditions, mathematical conditions, if you see, very important uh, pointers stress in z direction is considered as zero in plane stress conditions. Whereas strain in z direction is considered as zero in plane strain condition. So, in the first case, in plane stress condition, we neglect the stress in the z direction. For example, thin sheets, stress developed in thin sheets, there is no considerable stress in z direction. Whereas second case plane strain condition, the strain developed in the z direction of a retaining wall or a dam is considered as zero or negligible. A similar way, uh, the stresses in z directions here, the shear stresses in z direction are also considered as zero. In plane strain condition, the strains, shear strains in z direction are considered as zero. So this, these are the mathematical conditions uh, which is applied to the Plane stress and plane strain. That's all from today.